And this is astonishing because it's very unlikely to die in the juvenile age. She has been treated well her whole life. The search for Cleopatra's final resting place has captivated historians, treasure hunters, and archaeologists for centuries. It's so exciting. I need to see what is in there. It has been hidden for 2,000 years. Cleopatra, the last queen of ancient Egypt, renowned for her beauty, charm, and political prowess, was laid to rest in a magnificent tomb filled with treasures and gold. Some believed the tomb might be submerged somewhere in the Mediterranean Sea. Others believed that it was buried in a secret location in Alexandria. That might end up with her being buried in a temple, and her lost tomb could be found there. In a surprising turn of events, scientists have finally succeeded in unearthing Cleopatra's long-lost tomb, revealing a series of shocking discoveries within. Where exactly was Cleopatra's tomb discovered, and what astonishing revelations awaited the brave archaeologists? Join us as we unravel this 2,000 years old mystery. Cleopatra was one of the most powerful and influential queens of ancient Egypt. Her life, death, and the whereabouts of her tomb have remained shrouded in mystery, making her one of history's greatest mysteries. Renowned archaeologists have dedicated their efforts to unraveling the location of her majestic tomb, where she was laid to rest alongside her lover, Mark Antony. Despite extensive excavations at Taposiris Magna, a site abundant with ancient tombs from Cleopatra's era, the queen's tomb has remained elusive, lost to the ravages of time. Now, recent developments have brought newfound hope to the search. Archaeologists have discovered a rock-cut tunnel beneath Egypt's ancient Taposiris Magna Temple, leading to Cleopatra's long-lost tomb. The Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities reported this groundbreaking find last week, describing the 4,265-foot tunnel, situated 43 feet underground, as a marvel of geometric design. Its resemblance to the famed Eupalinos Tunnel on the Greek island of Samos, an architectural feat of ancient times, further adds to its significance. The discovery was made by researcher Kathleen Martinez of the University of San Domingo, who spearheaded the excavation. The Egyptian authorities have revealed intriguing details about the find, including the presence of strange inscriptions within the ancient tomb and various treasures bearing Cleopatra's name. Amidst this trove of artifacts lies a shocking revelation, promising to unravel the 2,000-year-old archaeological puzzle. Stay tuned to learn more about how this mysterious underground discovery was made and how it may bring us closer to uncovering Cleopatra's secret tomb. Cleopatra is widely known as an iconic figure in Egyptian history, and her reputation has lasted through countless civilizations. She is one of the best-known women in the history of mankind. Cleopatra was a multifaceted individual who resorted to desperate measures to achieve her ambitions. She was an intelligent and multilingual female pharaoh who exerted her authority over Egypt and other regions. While her beauty was undeniable, what truly set her apart was her captivating personality, her gift for conversation, and her confident demeanor in every interaction. Cleopatra was born into a noble lineage in ancient Egypt as a member of the renowned Ptolemaic dynasty, which boasted a rich history. From an early age, it was clear that Cleopatra was destined for greatness. However, her upbringing took place in a politically unstable climate, with the kingdom embroiled in power struggles and rivalries as different factions vied for control. Amidst this turmoil, Cleopatra's family became entangled in a complex web of alliances and betrayals. Her rise to the throne was tied to her marriage to her brother, Ptolemy VIII. Together, they were expected to usher in a new era of prosperity for Egypt. However, their partnership was far from harmonious, creating a dramatic twist of events. Cleopatra soon realized that her brother lacked the wisdom and strength necessary to govern a kingdom. She understood the importance of becoming a formidable leader, one who commanded respect and loyalty. Armed with her sharp intellect and magnetic presence, she embarked on a journey to win over the hearts and minds of her people. Determined to establish her authority, she faced numerous challenges. But amidst all her obstacles, Cleopatra possessed a remarkable combination of intelligence, education, and linguistic prowess. She was not only fluent in her native Egyptian language, but also well-versed in Greek and Latin. 
This linguistic dexterity allowed her to effectively communicate with a wide range of people, fostering connections and understanding beyond the borders of Egypt. One of Cleopatra's primary projects as a leader was the modernization of Egypt and the strengthening of its economy. She recognized the importance of innovation and progress, implementing reforms aimed at improving infrastructure, agriculture, and trade. Under her guidance, Egypt flourished with advancements in irrigation systems, expanded trade networks, and increased agricultural productivity. These efforts brought prosperity to the kingdom and elevated its status on the world stage. Cleopatra was also a master of diplomacy, forging strategic alliances with influential leaders of her time. Her most famous alliance was with Julius Caesar, the powerful Roman general and statesman. Cleopatra's collaboration with Caesar not only secured her position on the throne, but also brought numerous benefits to Egypt. She utilized her influence to negotiate favorable trade agreements, ensure the protection of Egyptian interests, and establish a strong bond between Egypt and Rome. Following Caesar's assassination, Cleopatra turned her attention to Mark Antony, another influential Roman leader. As the dust of war settled and calmness returned to the realm, Mark Antony, now ruling the Eastern Roman Empire, summoned Cleopatra to his palace. He questioned her loyalty to the Roman Empire and criticized her for not sending troops to the battlefields. Cleopatra cleverly explained that she did send her troops, but they arrived on the battlefield late. Despite being married to Octavian's sister Octavia, Mark Antony was immediately charmed by Cleopatra's brilliance during their meeting. Their romance became legendary, immortalized in paintings, songs, and literature. Cleopatra bore three children for Mark Antony, solidifying their bond. Their alliance was not only political, but also deeply romantic, and together, they formed an indomitable force. Cleopatra's diplomatic skills played a crucial role in maintaining a stable relationship between Egypt and Rome during a time of political turbulence. Her reign was not solely focused on politics and the economy. She also made significant contributions to the cultural and intellectual development of Alexandria, the capital of Egypt. Under her patronage, Alexandria became a center of learning and artistic brilliance. Cleopatra's most notable contribution was the establishment of the famous Library of Alexandria, which housed an extensive collection of scrolls and manuscripts from various time periods. This library became a beacon of knowledge, attracting scholars and intellectuals from all corners of the world. Cleopatra's support for the arts, sciences, and literature created an environment that fostered creativity and intellectual growth. As Cleopatra's influence over Mark Antony grew, their relationship faced significant disapproval. Octavian, feeling betrayed by his friend's behavior towards his sister, became resentful. While Mark Antony's love for Cleopatra continued to intensify, the once strong friendship between Mark Antony and Octavian began to fade. This angered the Roman leaders, who found their relationship unacceptable. Without reasonable grounds, they decided to wage war against Mark Antony and Cleopatra. The Battle of Actium became the turning point for Mark Antony and Cleopatra. It marked Octavian's ascension as the sole emperor of Rome and sent a clear message to Mark Antony that he was now considered an enemy. The battle resulted in heavy losses for Mark Antony and Cleopatra, forcing them to flee. According to various sources such as Strabo, Plutarch, and Dio, it is said that after being misinformed of Cleopatra's suicide, Mark Antony stabbed himself multiple times. He was then carried to Cleopatra, where she wept profusely, calling him her master and husband. She smeared his blood on her face, covered him with her cloth, and dressed herself in royal attire. Cleopatra attempted suicide several times but failed. Eventually, she allowed a live poisonous cobra to bite her, causing her to die from its venom. Her physician, Olympus, confirmed the events of Cleopatra's suicide, making this version the most trusted among other possible versions. Without a shadow of a doubt, this spectacular woman was a true lover, a skilled diplomat, and a passionate leader. But her legacy doesn't end with her death. A new chapter opened when there was a decision to keep her tomb hidden, and that has inspired several quests leading to the recent shocking discovery. Before we explore the discovery, let's find out what mysterious events happened after her death. How did Cleopatra's death begin, a new story in her 2,000-year-old legacy? 
Cleopatra is widely known for taking her own life after her husband did the same thing. It is believed that Emperor Augustus allowed Cleopatra to be buried alongside her lover, Mark Antony. Given Cleopatra's status as a pharaoh, it is highly likely that both she and Antony underwent the process of mummification. Mummification, a method employed to prevent human bones from decomposing, involves the dehydration of bodies using a salt-like substance called natron. Natron, with its exceptional water-absorbing properties, effectively removes most of the internal organs without damaging the body's exterior. For instance, the brain was extracted through the nostrils to preserve its appearance, while a hole was made in the side of the body to remove the other organs, except for the heart, which the ancient Egyptians believed to be the key to eternal life. These organs were either placed in canopic jars and buried alongside the body, or kept separate but close to it. The body was then wrapped in linen, placed in a grave with some of the person's belongings, and the tomb was sealed. The story of Cleopatra, both as a legendary lover and a leader, is shrouded in mystery. Despite her significant historical role, the location of her burial remains unknown, captivating archaeologists in a desperate search. Scholars and historians have engaged in centuries-long debates about the precise whereabouts of Cleopatra's renowned tomb. Many have speculated that her final resting place lies in her hometown of Alexandria. But why Alexandria? The answer lies in the enduring influence Cleopatra had on the city. In her pursuit of secrecy and enigma, she chose the temple of the goddess Isis as her sanctuary, a temple that stood as a silent sentinel guarding the secrets of a bygone era. However, natural calamities such as earthquakes and rising sea levels have submerged a considerable section of Alexandria under 20 feet of Mediterranean seawater. This has rendered the search for her tomb nearly impossible. Recent attention has turned to a desert temple near Alexandria. Researchers have hypothesized that Cleopatra, known for her strategic thinking, might have selected a tomb in a place of spiritual significance. This theory suggests that she may have arranged for her mummified remains to rest undisturbed in a sacred location alongside her beloved Antony. The first expedition in search of the Queen of the Nile took place in 1992 when underwater archaeologist Frank Gardo conducted extensive explorations of the waters around Alexandria in the early 2000s. Although these expeditions did not yield any evidence directly related to Cleopatra's tomb, most mainstream archaeologists still believed that she was likely buried in an underwater tomb in Alexandria. In November 2006, the esteemed Egyptologist Zahi Hawass, then Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, revealed the key aspects of an archaeological site. He and his team had been tirelessly working for the past year to locate Cleopatra's tomb. Previous attempts involved excavations around potential sites, but this time, they had a meticulously devised plan to unveil the final resting place of Egypt's last queen. The urgency to find Cleopatra's tomb was palpable. Her story had fascinated people for centuries, and the search was filled with anticipation and excitement. The fate of this remarkable woman, whose name resounded through history, was yet to be discovered. The archaeologists and excavators were resolute in their determination to expose the secrets of Cleopatra's mysterious burial site. How was the Cleopatra's tomb finally discovered? Two decades ago, a bold archaeologist named Martinez embarked on a mysterious journey. Fueled by unwavering faith, she was determined to uncover Cleopatra's hidden burial site. Martinez set her sights on Taposiris Magna, an ancient temple dedicated to the god of the dead. Convinced that this temple held the key to her quest, Martinez devoted a decade to thorough research. However, unearthing the tomb, concealed by the veil of time, proved to be an arduous task. After carefully calculating the ideal location of Cleopatra's legendary tomb, Martinez tirelessly sought a way to unlock its secrets. She made numerous attempts and persistently pursued her goal, including sending multiple unanswered emails. Eventually, she succeeded in arranging a meeting with Zahi Hawass, a renowned archaeologist and former head of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities in Cairo. This meeting played a pivotal role in solving many mysteries that had confounded Martinez, infusing their quest with hope. It was akin to a ray of light piercing through a dark tunnel. They left no stone unturned, 
fully aware that discovering the tomb of a legend like Cleopatra had the potential to be the most significant find of the 21st century. The search for Cleopatra's tomb is not without controversies and debates. Competing theories, conflicting historical accounts, and the challenge of locating a tomb lost to the sands of time have fueled scholarly discussions. Some argue that Cleopatra's tomb may have been deliberately concealed or destroyed to prevent desecration, while others believe it remains hidden in plain sight, waiting to be uncovered. In the bustling city of Alexandria, Egypt, a group of archaeologists set out on an exhilarating adventure. The aim of this adventure is to discover the ancient resting place of the legendary Queen Cleopatra, lost to time but not forgotten. With unwavering determination and the aid of cutting-edge technology, they delved into the mysterious secrets of this ancient city, where whispers of the past reverberated through the shifting sands. After years of tireless exploration, a groundbreaking discovery shook the world. Concealed beneath layers of time, far from prying eyes, the archaeologists stumbled upon the hidden entrance to Cleopatra's sacred tomb. It was a moment that would rewrite history, a triumph destined to echo through the annals of time. As the archaeologists ventured deeper into the labyrinthine city of Tapasiris Magna, a revelation awaited them that sent shivers down their spines. They uncovered a colossal tunnel, an architectural marvel of ancient times, buried 13 meters beneath the surface. The purpose and significance of this tunnel became the subject of intense speculation. Miss Martinez, an unwavering archaeologist who had devoted her life to this quest, saw in this underground wonder a glimmer of hope. Could this tunnel be the key to unlocking the mystery of Cleopatra's final resting place? In an interview with National Geographic, Miss Martinez passionately expressed her conviction that this tunnel might serve as a guiding light, leading her to the long-lost tomb of Cleopatra and her beloved Mark Antony. Deep within the ancient site of Tapasiris Magna, the archaeologists made a remarkable discovery. They unearthed a vast collection of priceless artifacts, ranging from fragments of ancient pottery to a mysterious rectangular slab of limestone. Yet, despite these thrilling finds, one precious treasure remained elusive, the tomb of Cleopatra. Whispers of its existence spread like wildfire, heralding it as the paramount revelation of the 21st century. However, its secrets remained locked away, concealed by the relentless march of time. The archaeologists faced countless challenges in their quest to locate Cleopatra's burial site. The frequent earthquakes that rocked the region between 330 and 1303 CE seemed to conspire against their efforts. It appeared as though the very Earth itself conspired to bury Cleopatra's final resting place, erasing vital clues to her sanctuary. However, a new tunnel emerged, beckoning to them like a mesmerizing siren's call. Could this subterranean labyrinth hold the key to unlocking the mysteries surrounding Cleopatra and her beloved Mark Antony? As the archaeologists delved deeper into the depths, they discovered mummies adorned with regal golden shrouds and a chilling cemetery filled with sarcophagi in the Greco-Roman style. Their eyes were transfixed on the temple as they uncovered numerous unearthly artifacts that further substantiated Martinez's audacious theory. Among these artifacts was a royal tomb concealed beneath the sands, a sacred sanctuary adorned with golden mummies and silver treasures intended to guide the pharaohs into the afterlife. It was an unparalleled experience, a journey through time that intimately connected us to Cleopatra and the magnificence of ancient Egypt. Martinez, the visionary behind the expedition, envisioned herself approaching Cleopatra's sarcophagus, reaching out to touch it and saying, Queen Cleopatra, the world has never forgotten you. Martinez's unyielding belief in the tomb's existence would finally be vindicated if their discovery came to fruition. Over the years, numerous ancient tombs and mummies have been unearthed, yet none of them have possessed the expected qualities of the enigmatic leader, Cleopatra. Should Cleopatra's tomb be discovered, it is anticipated that it will display the magnificent architecture and splendor reminiscent of the ancient Egyptian civilization. The tomb might feature intricate carvings, hieroglyphic inscriptions, and symbolic representations linked to the pharaonic traditions. By examining similar tombs from that era, we can gain insights into the potential design and arrangement of Cleopatra's final resting place. 
The ancient Egyptian tombs were often adorned with exquisite artwork, reflecting the beliefs and traditions of that time. If Cleopatra's tomb is found, it could house stunning frescoes, burial artifacts, and funerary objects. These artistic elements are expected to provide valuable clues about her life, religious practices, and cultural influences. Understanding the burial customs and rituals associated with Cleopatra's tomb can shed light on her religious beliefs and the prevalent customs of that era. The ancient Egyptians placed great significance on proper funeral rites, including mummification, elaborate processions, and the inclusion of burial artifacts. By delving into these practices, we can deepen our understanding of Cleopatra's cultural heritage. Cleopatra's tomb holds immense symbolic and cultural importance. As the final pharaoh of Egypt, her burial site represents the end of a significant era and the decline of Egyptian sovereignty. The discovery of her tomb would offer valuable insights into the political, social, and cultural dynamics of that time, thus enriching our understanding of ancient Egypt and its connections to the broader Mediterranean world. The potential discovery of Cleopatra's tomb would undeniably have a substantial impact on Egyptian tourism. The allure of this legendary queen, coupled with the historical and archaeological significance of her tomb, would attract visitors from all corners of the globe. The influx of tourists would not only boost the local economy, but also foster cultural exchange and appreciation for Egypt's rich heritage. According to archaeologists, the preservation and restoration of Cleopatra's tomb, if found, would be of utmost importance. Advanced conservation techniques would be employed to safeguard the architectural integrity, artwork, and artifacts within the tomb. Collaborative efforts between archaeologists, historians, and specialists would ensure the protection of this invaluable historical site for future generations. Thanks for watching another. While you're still here, click on the other videos you see on your screen right now.